we are going to go over there. Office is another great area if you are a new seller. Oh my god, I'm so excited to find these. Unfortunately, you can't list and sell it if it's not at least three months to its expiration date. These right here, August 2024, can't sell. Your cost of goods would be $20 and you're selling it for double that. These are literally $1.99 at Ollie. I honestly cannot believe how many profitable products we just found at Ollie's. Let's go on a trip together so that I can show you guys exactly what retail arbitrage is like. How you can find these products at your everyday stores and then resell them higher cost and profit on that difference. So we are going to go over there. And first I just wanna show you over here is where we used to have our mall. The only thing there now is JCPenney that you can access. Everything else you can't even go to. And then we had Hannaford, which was a supermarket, now shut down. The town is super small and it's quite sad because we're basically losing everything. East Walk, that used to be awesome Chinese place, shut down. We're gonna go right there to Ollie's. I'm gonna bring this with me. They do have a pretty big selection of books here, if that's your cup of tea. I've spent a lot of time scanning books here before, and I kind of feel like it's a waste of time to do. The biggest letdown for me here is I love to sell in grocery, but I'd say close to 90% of the food here is way too close to expiration. It's July, and this cereal has a best buy date of next month. And same with this one. But the pantry items, like spices, have a much longer shelf life. And this is a great section to scan products using your Amazon seller app. You can either type the product in by name or scan it with your camera. I find the correct product, click on the lock that says request approval. Because it's asking me to submit documentation, this means I am not permitted to sell this product on Amazon. It's different for everybody. What's gated for one person and not able to sell, somebody else might be able to sell. So you don't know what you can sell unless you're scanning products scan different brands, scan different categories, and see what is on gated. I have like no service in here, so nothing is scanning. Um, so instead I'm just going to like take pictures of the shelves and then research it at home, I guess, and then what is profitable, we'll come back and get. So I know that this is a good brand. So these are going to definitely be on Amazon. I just have to see if the profits are worth it. So I'll take pictures of all of these shelves and then do the research at home, which is fine with me. It's gonna be faster and I'll be in the comfort of my own home. And I also look for things that are different. Like I've never seen this before. So I'm definitely going to want to check that out. Things like that, that just looks cheap. So I'm not gonna even waste my time on that. Stuff like this, super heavy, don't even bother. And then the expiration on these. MA 24, so I'm guessing maybe March, so that's not good. We can't sell that then. Boo, that did definitely look interesting. I'm still gonna look that up though, show you guys if it would have been profitable. That is really what I don't like about it here is the food is just so close to being expired. They do have a lot of good food here. Um, but unfortunately, you can't list and sell it if it's not at least three months to its expiration date. These right here, August 2024, can't sell. Pasta probably has a better date. Um, no, just kidding. April 2024, so these are already expired. Stuff like this is good to look for. Because they're seasonal, you can't just find these anywhere right now. So these could sell good, but right now it's summer, so we're in the warm season, multiple season, and I wouldn't be able to send these in um, to the warehouse anyways.
If you are a new seller, you probably can't sell in a lot of categories yet, but pets is definitely an area to start in. That was the first thing that I could sell as a new seller. And they do have some pet stuff here at Ollie's. I also found these peanuts I'm excited about. My new hobby is birds. Believe it or not, it is super fun to feed the birds and to watch them and the squirrels. Like, I don't discriminate. They can all come to my bird feeders. So I'm excited to see if they can have these peanuts. Ooh, the birds also really like these suet. So there's the basket. And then you put these inside of them. I'm gonna have to pick some of these up. Got some peanut butter ones and they didn't really like them. Uh, but last time I got an orange and they ate that in a day. So maybe I can find some orange. There are two baby blue jays that come. They're literally the cutest. Um, I take pictures of them, so I'll put some pictures in there for you guys to see, but they're so adorable. What is this? Mealworms. I don't know, that kind of grosses me out. I don't think I want those. Huh. Four cake suet buffet. I think my husband's gonna kill me if I get it though. Every time I go shopping, I bring back more for the birds. He's like, seriously, how, much, how many bird feeders do you eat? Just need more bird stuff. We could check the toothpaste when we get home. Maybe if we bundle some of these together, so they have a lot of Crest and Colgate. These right here look interesting. Nice little gift sets, $4.99. Definitely going to have to check those. My kids might like that, I'll get that for them. Oh, this is another great area if you are a new seller. Um, that was the first product that I found was actually here at Ollie's that I listed on Amazon and it was notebooks. And it was my first sale too on Amazon. They do have a lot of K-cups here, but I noticed they are like not a known brand. They're like off brand names. So most of these um, are not on Amazon. Here we go again, something that is limited, hard to find all year, but let's see if it's expired next month. Yep. We'll search for these, but let's make sure they're not expired. Okay, so those have a good date. So we've got hazelnut, vanilla, more name brand stuff, Bailey's. So yeah, we're definitely going to want to check these when we have service. I'm just kidding. All of this expires next month. August. Oh, July, this month. But, nope, they're all too close to their date. Except for these. They also have toys here that you don't really see everywhere else. Um, I like to check the toys for sure for some unique things. Since again, no services working in here, let's take some pictures of the shelves. Last time I was here, they did have some Baby Alive dolls that were good profit. I like to check the Monopolies too. They have so many different versions. And you never know when you're gonna come across one that is selling for a lot. Stuff like this always catches my eye. There's definitely a niche for people who love this show. That right there is nostalgic. I remember having this cush when I was a kid. That is huge. And it is $19.99. Let's see if they're gonna profit on that. Especially getting ready for Q4, things like this will definitely sell a lot more then. Oh my god, I'm so excited to find these. My kids have been making me little water balloons and it takes like a half hour to get 20. Cool stuff definitely sells during the summertime. Wicked profit if you can find good prices on cool stuff. I definitely need one of those. I really want to check these out too. It seems to be like good price. This is why I don't have to leave my house very often. I literally just spent $180. And it wasn't even stuff to resell. It was just stuff that I wanted. So nothing in here right now is profit. Hopefully all the pictures that we took find some profit. And then I'll also show you some of the fun things that I got. Gardening has become a hobby of mine now too this year. And uh, I'm not great at it. I'm kind of just learning as I go. So weird to me that like different flowers, different vegetables, they need the soil that they're in to be different pH levels. Like I just assume, you know, like soil is soil, whatever. They'll grow in anything, but turns out that's not the case. 
I hate how dirty your hands feel after you touch carts. Ugh. I definitely need some hand sanitizer right now. I'm also like a freak about shopping alone. Anytime I walk past somebody in the parking lot, I gotta lock my door. I literally think they're like gonna try and kidnap me. I don't know. I think it's because I am small, so I know that like if somebody wanted me, they wanted to get me in their car, it's not gonna be that hard to do. I also got one of these things. So if you go over a bridge, that's one of my biggest fears. And like getting stuck in the car and not being able to get out, take this thing and you press it against the corner of the window, like down here, and you push through and it breaks the glass for you. So that is pretty cool. This side too is a seatbelt cutter. So if your seatbelt is stuck and it won't come off of you, it locked, then you cut it right off of you. So cool. One of those things that most people probably don't think about getting, but if you're trapped in your car in the bridge, that's when you'll think about it and wish that you had it. And that one right there let's get home and turn on the air conditioner for right now because i am dying and let's see if we found anything that was profitable that we can come back and snag up i was so surprised by how many products i found that actually made really good profit you're going to see just how easy this is we're buying things for $1.99 and reselling them for $15 don't believe me stay until the end and I'll show you now I understand that you probably don't care what I bought for my own personal use why should you but I am a notorious overshare bear with me while I take like one minute to share with you some of my favorite things first thing that I'll share with you I don't know why I do this. I do this to myself once a year, usually twice a year if I'm being honest. That is with messing up my hair. I'm all about saving money. If you can do it for $3.99 versus $100 to get highlights, I'm gonna take that risk. The next thing that I found, mini list notes. Today's top three. I have a hard time prioritizing tasks. I know the things I need to get done, but then when I'm trying to do those things, I will just come across stuff that does not even matter and my brain will be like, yeah, this matters right now. Do it right now, right now, right now. And then I waste all of my time. And those big things don't get done. It's just how I am. Trying to get better. If I have this to look at, something visual that says, hey, you're not cleaning anything else. You're not doing anything else until these three things are done. So I'm really excited for these. Moving on. 10 workbooks for $6.99. I pull a lot out of here to use in the classroom. I'm exceptionally excited for this next school year. My youngest baby child is going into kindergarten and it meant a lot to me to have my son in my class, which is not something that my district has ever complied to and done before, even though it's not in our contract that we can't do that. I spent several months more hours than I want to admit, researching, writing papers, trying to persuade my district why I should be allowed to have my son in my class. And the last week of school, my principal came up to me and he said, I know how much this means to you. I'm going to respect your decision. I know you've researched this and you've thought a lot about it. I'm going to let him be in your class. I am not going to have to trade time with my kid for work. It's going to be so good. Let's start looking at those photos of the shelves and seeing if there is enough of a difference after all those Amazon fees for me to go back to the store, purchase them, and resell on Amazon for a profit. The first thing I wanna search is that Badia brand. That brand had several products. Instead of searching for each one individually, I'm going to come here to the Brands tab. I'm going to type in that brand's name and it's going to show me which of those products are worth buying. Much easier than searching each individual product on Amazon. Now right here I can see Badia. Number of products, 1,203. We're going to click on those and boom. We can see here estimated sales and they're going in descending order. So these first ones that we're seeing are the brand's products that are performing the best on Amazon. This product right here, they do have at Ollie's. These are selling for $2.49 each. Seeing that the sale price is only at $9, I know that that's not going to be a big enough bundle after the Amazon fees to make me any profit. But we can open the calculator. A sale price of $9, cost price of $5, that is negative profit right there. 
Here is the lime pepper. So we do see that is performing pretty good, has over 200 sales estimated. But the problem here is really going to be the fees again. Let me show you. Let's go into the calculator. Number one, there are a lot of sellers on this that are all competing for the sale. And number two, this buy box is just way too low. We have a cost price of $2.39 and the fees are just too much. There's no profit again. Now at this point, I do know that the lime pepper is selling well. So what I would do is try to get creative here and find some bundles, some multi-packs so I can put more than one in a listing and still only pay this fee one time. But I can charge much higher because there's not just going to be one small bottle. I can put more than one together. So right here we can see lime pepper and lemon pepper, which they do have both, selling for $12.99. Go over to our Chrome extension. This makes it so handy. I have my profit calculator right here. I have my keep a chart. I can see estimated sales, BSR, everything I need. Now there is only one seller on this and that's because they have their brand registered right here and see how they're putting this little glass jar with it. They made this bundle and they put that jar there with their own little logo on it so that other sellers can't jump on this listing. This is what I'm talking about when I say get creative. Yeah, sure, one lime pepper, that's not going to be profitable after the fees. But if you build a bundle and then put something in there that nobody else can reproduce, they can't get on this listing and you're the only seller on it, you're winning all the sales. So 480 for this. Now where there was negative profit selling one, if I put two together, now we're coming up into the green. And this is why I say you have to get creative. You really need to train your brain to make lemonade out of lemons. We know that lime pepper was selling well, but Amazon, their fees are just so high, we could not compete. Hey, why, why don't we put more of them together in a bundle so that we can charge more and make some profit? Clearly that's not great profit. So what I would ideally think to do next is to put more than two together. Maybe I'll put two lime and two lemon. If that's the case and there's double the product, I could sell it for double the price, right? So let's say I'm selling that for $25. It's going to be about $10 in goods. Now our profits went from negative profit initially, $2 profit from finding a generic bundle. Now we are building off of that bundle. We're going to make our own and now look at the profit that we have. And we can see that it's selling. This seller here, they're the only seller on this listing. So they're winning all of those sales. Even though they're probably only making a couple dollars in profit, if they have several listings that do the same thing, sell at least 100 a month, and they're making at least $2 profit on each of them, that adds up very quickly. I can buy these flavor packets right here at Ollie, but the problem is they're $2.19. So that price, we're not going to have profit after the fees. Same here with this spice. This is $2.49. No way can we make money after Amazon collects theirs. Instead, here's how we can get creative. We can make a new listing. We can put these together in a bundle. We could offer two of the bags, two of the spices. Now, because we're charging a higher price, there's going to be more leverage and room in there for us to make a profit. When initially, if we're selling these separate, there's no profit. They are selling, they have good reviews, and this would add value to the customer. They'd be getting both different ways to have this seasoning, packets and the shaker. Now right here, you can see somebody is doing this same idea. They put two together because one just simply was not profitable. And here they did it again. They put six together. Same thing with these marinades. Check this out. If we're only selling one bottle, we're only able to charge so much. But if we're putting more than one bottle together, now that price is higher, but the fees are probably still about the same, meaning more money in our pocket. I like to come to Google when I'm searching for a lot of these products from Ollie's because they do have a lot of name brand. And if you're familiar with Amazon, a lot of those big name brands don't want third-party sellers to sell their products. So this is where it's a great idea to have other outlets in your back pocket. Sign up to sell on eBay and sign up to sell on the Walmart marketplace. This way, you are not putting all of your eggs in one basket. If you come across a product that's selling really well, but you can't sell it on Amazon, that's fine. You have your Walmart account and your eBay account that you can sell them on. So I like to come here on Google when I'm searching these products because I can sell it on any of these marketplaces. We'll go to the shopping tab and now I can see what it's going for at each place. These are $5 at 
Ollie. And currently at Walmart, they are selling for $10.99, $19. eBay has it for $10. Another Walmart listing, $17.97. So this definitely could be something that could be profitable, not on the Amazon marketplace, but it seems like Walmart or eBay could generate some money from them. Next, we have these Nerf Speed Ultra Guns. We can get our hands on these for $20 at Ali. Currently, it's going for $40 on Walmart and $40 on Amazon. Now, because we're coming into Q4, that is a huge buying season and when you're going to make a ton of sales. And when products like toys those prices go up and people still buy them. So I can see here in December, November of last year that we just had, this was selling high 40s into the $50. So if that same projection is going to happen again, where the price is going to go up right around Christmas time, right now there's only 95 cents profit, which would be nothing after shipping. But if this price does go up and during Q4 we're able to sell them, let's say for $49. Now look at how much profit there is. So this is definitely something to watch and see what's happening on Amazon. See if the price is going up as we're getting into Q4 and where there wasn't initially money for what it's selling for at this moment, there might be in the very near future. Next, we found this Dove Sun Hydrate. We can buy it for $5 at Walmart, it's going for 17. And we can even see multi-packs here on eBay. If we put two of them together, that's $10 for our cost of goods. And look at what they're selling this for. But the real question is, are people paying that price for it? Let me show you how to figure that out. We'll go back up to the search. Now, here's what I wanna do. I'm going to come down here and for show only, I wanna see just the sold items. Now this is showing me exactly what customers have paid for this product. So I know exactly what they're willing to spend. On July 11th, which was very recent, this exact product sold for $15 when we can get it for $5. This one right here, that sold. We could get this for $10 and sell it for $34. That's a good product, that's a good find. Next we found these Caress Mango and almond oil bar soaps, eight bars for $6. And that same product is being sold on Amazon for $17.98. Now it's kind of a high price, but when I click on this listing, I can see this is sold by a third party seller. So Walmart's probably out of stock of this and they are. So when I search that, nothing is coming up. All that I have are these third party offers. So this is a really good product too. This tells me that somewhere in the supply chain, the stores are not able to get this, these big name stores. So now, aha, this is the chance where us third party sellers thrive. I can get this for $6 and I can sell it for three times the price on Walmart, which they don't take a lot of fees like Amazon does. So that definitely would have profit in it. Check it out here on Amazon and we can see a listing right here. It says three bars. Now digging in a little deeper, I can tell that this is for two three packs. So it is six bars in all. And my product is for eight bars. So I would not be able to jump on this, but it does still have that higher price. So this is a product that people are going to be willing to pay more for because those big chain stores don't have access to it at a cheaper price. So this is a great find. Next, we have this bouncing conditioner. These are only $1.99 at Aldi. Over on Walmart, it's going for $13. Again, it's sold by a third party seller. That's pretty good profit. And again, here they are selling and at a buy point of $1.99, this product, boom also profitable. $2.79 for this suave conditioner. Right here I can see on eBay a two pack for $25.99. Walmart is much lower so I definitely wouldn't want to go over there to list it. That's why it's so great having a different variety of marketplaces. So if one's not working for you to make profit, go to the other one, sell it there instead. Just last month, $18 and we can get this for about $6. We can get both the shampoo and the conditioner at Ollie for about $4 each. Now this is a brand that I don't think likes to be sold on Amazon. I like the idea on this listing, how they made a bundle out of it. They put the shampoo and the conditioner together, but selling it at this price is not profitable. And number two, 
I don't know how reseller friendly this brand is. They might hit us with a violation. I'll go over to eBay where it's safer. Just sold on July 5th, $4 each. We're in for $12 and we're selling it for 23. Plus on top of paying that price for it, they also had this customer buy shipping. Same here. Other sellers knowing how to do it smart might not make money on one, but boom, let's put two conditioners, two shampoos together. We can charge way more. So this is also a really good find. This shampoo is $1.99. We can see that it is selling for significantly more than that. July 8th, two bottles sold, same exact product. This would cost us $4 and we're selling it for over three times the amount. Here again, this would cost us $6 and it just sold on July 6th for $40. I honestly cannot believe how many profitable products we just found at Ollie's. $1.99 at Ollie, and now we have the same concept. It seems like these two are selling super well on eBay in lots of two or four. So putting those products together so that you can ask more for them. Another good find. I love limited edition things and seasonal. So I was excited to see these at Ollie and they were at 99 cents because look at this. On eBay, this is selling for $8. Why? Well, because somebody who really likes this scent, they cannot get it anywhere else. It's not being sold at Walmart or Target right now. So if they want it, they will pay $8 for it and we only had to pay a dollar for it. So always be on the lookout for those limited edition things and seasonal things. Same exact idea with this one here. We are definitely going to be able to list this scent and have it sell quickly on eBay. I hate when listings look confusing because in this cover photo, like on Amazon, the cover photo has to show you exactly what you're getting. But here, the description makes it seem like it is for only one. These are literally $1.99 at Ollie. We can get these 18 packs for $5, at Walmart, this one's selling for 12. eBay, you can create some multi-packs here. Your cost of goods would be $20 and you're selling it for double that. Literally blowing my mind how many products right now are turning into really good profit from Ollie. It's just so crazy how many products from Ollie is doing so well. Cost price of $10, we're making nearly $8 in profit on this. And yes, of course, we do need to pay to ship these to the Amazon warehouse but these are not products that are very heavy and they're considerably small. So maybe a dollar best is going to invest in the shipping. So again, another winning Ollie's product. I hope you guys can see the value in having different marketplaces to sell on because you don't wanna limit yourself. It might not be selling well in one spot, but it might be selling good in another. For example, that one we just looked up on Amazon, we can see it here on eBay for way more. Definitely have an open mind about the marketplaces, have an open mind about doing multi-packs and even putting bundles together like we saw with the lime pepper.